I believe the COVID vaccine is a greater threat to soldiers' health and military readiness than the virus itself. Over 200,000 service members have rejected the vaccine, yet the military is pressing forward without regard to the damage to the morale and readiness to process these soldiers out. We have never lost 200,000 soldiers on the battlefield in a few months. Taking soldiers out of uniform has the same impact on readiness as losing them on the battlefield. I enlisted in the Army and completed basic training by the age of 17. I am now a board-certified aerospace medicine specialist with a master's in public health. I have spent the last 30 years serving this great country. I have gone from an almost homeless teenager on welfare to a lieutenant colonel physician in the United States Army. I have truly lived the American dream. Everything I have and everything I am, I owe to Christ alone. I simply asked, so we skipped two years of phase two trials and three years of phase three trials. We only lost 12 active duty soldiers to COVID, yet we're gonna risk the health of the entire fighting force on a vaccine we only had two months of safety data on? The response was, you're damn right, Colonel, and you're gonna get every soldier you can to take the vaccine so I can get enough data points to determine if the vaccine is safe. Our service members are national treasures. They have stared down bullets, been blown up by IEDs and bombs. They have endured thankless and protracted wars, missing the birth of their children. They bore the burden no matter the cost. They did so without respect to political party or narrative. These are warriors, not lab rats.